Yo, what's going on, Sexy Sam Letter Squad? Uh, today we're doing a Try Hard Tuesday because it is patch day. And if I try to normal record, it's going to take hours and hours and hours. Because on patch days, everyone tries to get back to Masters or GM or whatever. So, I'm just going to try hard and we're going to get there first, basically. Uh, there's things I wanted to say. I can't remember. Um, 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 um. Oh, on the 30th, I'm doing a 24-hour stream. It might be broken up into two 12 hours, but either way, we're probably going to be giving stuff away, as always, and we're going to be playing a bunch of different games, not only Smite, but, you know, probably majority of Smite, let's be honest. And there's going to be a lot of a lot of stuff going on, so I hope to see you there on the 30th. Starting at 6 p.m. Eastern, as always. And uh, and there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Uh, join as a member on YouTube. You can do that. It's five bucks a month. But you get five extra videos a month. What do we have in the menu today? Maybe a troll build with a pinch of crits? Uh, try hard. <laughs> Yikes. That is not what he wanted to hear. I can tell you that much. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I wish I knew what that meant. Or maybe I'm glad that I don't know what it means. I don't know. All I know is whenever someone talks a different language to me, it gets me all sorts of weird. Because I don't know if I'm being cursed out or they're saying anything bad and I should D&D &D, or if they are saying nice things to me and I should be like oh thank you you know I just realized he did hit me but he like really has to clear a little bit Oh, Aegis. All right. I'll take the Aegis. I don't think he needed to there, but I'll take it. Oh, we're getting the minis. I might ult this wave. Just so I can keep farming well. Yeah, we're going to ult the wave so we can get all the minis on the map. I think it's a good trade. I think it's a solid trade. I will say we should probably back now. So that we can compete for the red. Doesn't scare me. You are a low level Giannis. You missed the wave. I don't know if he was aiming for me or the wave, but he did miss the wave. <laughs> By the way, if you're wondering about all the weird coughs or like sneezes or whatever the fuck, uh, it, don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm not sick or anything. Oh. Oh. Alright, good jukes. Good jukes. I am slightly worried he's going to, like, teleport here and kill me. Saving my mana to jump on him if that is the case. I think he ran away. Yeah, he ran away. Alright, grab one of these, grab one of these. Hop out and do my speed buff, and I am pretty far ahead right now. I will say it's a little weird because, you know, Giannis is notorious for being able to go wherever hello your portal is down and your blue buff is probably up yeah okay He tried to push me out, I feel like. I don't know why he went to my tower line there. I think it was it was probably 
because if I didn't alt and he got his 1-2 combo on me, it would have just slightly poked me out and he was going towards his blue buff anyways, so it made sense. But I think because I ulted and I CC immune... Because I ulted and I CC immune to his, uh, his portal, his whole plan kind of crumbled. It always feels good when your two actually, or when your wave clear ability clears the back line. It always feels like you just hit a power spike. I wonder if he's going to surrender in 30 seconds. I don't see him winning this game. I mean, he's unfortunately a level 8 Giannis. Are you going to alt the wave? You don't have to. You have pretty decent clear, huh? Now, you do have alt up now, though, which I do need to be a little bit skeptical about. I'm surprised. He's not con He's not contesting the red buffs at all. Oh, he just backed, I guess. That's why. Please don't portal me. Getting a little bit risky with that breastplate. Now that he has breastplate, he's, he seems like he's uh, ruling the world a little bit. You know what I mean? I want your blue buff. Oh, he, he peed away. I guess he very easily could have TP'd away, backed, and then altered his blue and just absolutely demolished me. That could have been what happened. Um, I think I'm just going to stick to my guns here. And go try hard. Because full transparency, I played a game already. And I got shit on because I played a god that I don't play often. So. I seem to do that a lot. I seem to think, oh, I'm trying. So I win the game instantly. That's not really how it works. I still need to be good at the god. The win. Uh oh. oh. I'm dead. No, not dead. You're dead. He tried. He almost got away with it. Can I please get this? Nice. I don't know if he has alt or not. Now that I think about it. Did he throw it at me or no? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. The last thing I need in my life is a rogue fucking Giannis alt clipping my wings. Excuse me, don't look over here, don't look over here, don't look over here. He's ulting. Oh my god, that almost hit me, bro. Careful where you aim that thing, man. Almost clapped me. I'm dead. Uh, am I dead? He actually doesn't do that much damage. Oh, there's the Aegis. Oh, we are both so low. <laughs> All right. All right. Fair play. Fair play. Good fight. 
Good fight. Your middle tower is under attack. Don't know where he went. You know in Conquest, even if the tower hits your minions, you still get some gold when you last hit them? I don't know why it's different in Duel. Jeez, man. I do so much. I guess I don't do so much. Like, my damage isn't crazy high, but it's super consistent so it seems like I do a lot hello I suck ah you should not be here yeah, you should not be contesting me with auto attacks. He autoed me twice for 96 damage. I autoed him 14 times for 1700. <laughs> I can't do anything. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I do actually feel kind of bad because I feel like... Like people... People literally... Well, not all the people. But some people literally avoid queuing on Thursdays because they're like, Oh, that's Sam's try hard day. I don't want to play against that. And here we are on a Tuesday. It is a patch day, to be fair. We do a lot of damage now, all of a sudden. Ouch. Ah. Oh my god, that shaved my ass. Damn it. Please don't ult. Oh, he did ult, but he missed. Thank God. Okay. Now we... Yaga. Don't no, stop running. Come back. Damn it. I chased him all the way around the map and I couldn't catch up to him. All right, but I do have heavy XE and Kins combo, so my numbies are about to be pumping, dude. By the way, thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. I do stream <clears throat> a lot on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv says same the dude. And uh, somebody just subbed, even though I'm offline, so I appreciate it. Thank you. Where you at, boy? Oh, I heard you at the blue buff. Hello. Oh man. Okay, that was cheeky, dude. I cornered him. He couldn't move. The, o the only chance he had was to Aegis and survive my onslaught. And, I mean, he couldn't. At least use a condom. <laughs> Alright, GG's. <laughs> game one done. I'll see you guys in game two. Yo, what's up, boys? Welcome back to game number two. I want to play Vulcan this game because Vulcan... 
That's slightly changed. It wasn't a big change, but it, it's slight. It's the fact that his turret now starts off with, uh, I believe it's, hold on. Let me, let me make sure. Let me make sure. I don't want to, I don't want to spew incorrect factoids at you boys. Um, yeah, his turret now doesn't cost as much mana, which is very, very good. And also decreases cooldown. So now you can spam that motherfucker. You can just, you could just plop down a turret wherever you want. It's two seconds off of the cooldown. It was, it was 15. Now it's 13. And on top of that, which already sounds really good. Honestly, Vulcan didn't need a buff, but he got one anyways. So it sounds really good. Um, the fact that you can place down your turret more is like it's an okay buff right but but the one is now not considered a movement ability you know what that means yes obviously you just saw it move me back but that means you can't be crippled out of it like poseidon whirlpool you can still use your one on that bitch uh you are not doing that so i don't I don't know what you think you're doing, but it is not my blue buff. I'll tell you that much. Um, yeah, so you can't be crippled out of your one anymore, which is actually a huge buff. Because one of the worst things about Vulcan and Duel was the fact that if there was somebody that could cripple your one, you just lost the matchup. Like, you fought Poseidon. You fought fucking uh, Ardeo, even. You would just lose the matchup. So, it's really nice. I'll be honest, dude. Being able to place the stir down wherever I want feels really nice as well. Ah, oh, my nose. Okay. I think we're just gonna ult this wave. Get that wave out of here. I hit five of the six. What are you gonna? What are you gonna do, huh? I will literally fight you. You're going to lose the minion wave. You keep trying to fight me. Thank you. Blue buff acquired. Oh, I can go get my warlock staff now. Let's go. And I don't know if I'll be able to, but I would like to meet him at red buff. 10 seconds. Mm. I'd have to pick between red buff and wave, probably. I pick wave. There's more XP in a wave than there is in a red buff. Also, maybe I, who knows? Maybe I can still get it. Thank you. Oh, he backed out. That was fog. Ouch. Ouch. He is landed those autos. I'll give him that. Um, what if I just get your ult though? Never mind. I missed. Hmm. Out. All right. It looks like I'm being a bit too, uh, not really greedy, but like too aggressive. I'm taking all this tower damage. I don't need to take. I didn't need to take 600 tower damage there. Come on, be honest. All right, now we do my blue buff. I am double stacking. I'm not sure if, uh, it's a good decision or a bad decision, but it's, it's my decision. We'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. I don't hear him. I feel like he should have he should have been doing these, but I didn't hear him doing them. Oh, okay. I think maxing your turret second on Vulcan is way better than maxing your three. 
in duel all say. not like in conquest you probably just want to max the three just because it's your bread and butter right like you're going to be knocking people up you want them to actually feel it that is my blue buff Yeah. Oh. All right. Nice. I got my blue buff. Oh, God. If that one hit me, I probably would have died. Dude, the turret is just so good at zoning, man. You just place the turret down and they can't fight you anymore. They just have to run around it. I missed. Uh-oh. Oh, we got his Aegis. Nice. I don't have a lot of mana. But I don't need a lot of mana, thankfully. I just need to not get hit by all this shit. Nice. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. For some reason, in my head, I didn't think he could ult. I was like, yeah, there's no way he ults. I'm fine. Hindsight is 20-20, huh? Um, if I place my turret down here, and I won on my way out, are you chilling? Can you handle that turret? Oh, he couldn't get it, dude. Maybe the the big guy was actually out of range of my turret. That's probably what happened, because my turret does a lot of damage. We got Shogun. I don't have any cooldown or any defense. I'm straight up double stacked McGee right now. Like I said, this is a tryhard Tuesday, but I'm trying to keep it less like the normal tryhard because. I want it to still be fun to watch, you know? Oh my god, am I dead? Bro. Karen ult goes that far. I cannot believe I just died there, man. I went double stacking, but dude, it feels awful right now. Like double stacking on physical gods feels fine because Soul Eater is so cheap. But I don't know. Double stacking on a mage? I'm nine minutes in and I just finished my book basically. And it's not even finished stacking, I just finished buying it. Hello. Oh my god, he just dashed through my turret and killed it. It's a level four turret, by the way. Yeah. He tried
try to tank through my turret that time so he could get tower. Not gonna be that easy. I don't know when his blue buff spawns. It's got to be soon, though, right? Right? I need a new apron. It's not soon? Interesting. Alright. A maxed out turret will solo a buff easily, by the way. Is this a Bluetooth kills battle or what? Bluetooth kills. I don't know what that means. Like far ranged? I don't know what that means. I guess both times he killed me, he did kill me with ult. So I guess the far range comment makes sense because I've been trying to kill him with my ult. I don't know. Yo, I got breastplate, and now all of a sudden, I feel like, holy shit, I am unstoppable. Like, with Warlock Staff and Book of Thoth, I was like, yeah, this is not feeling good at all. And then I finished my breastplate, and I'm like, let's go! I'm insane! <laughs> I do so much damage now, and I can actually survive things! Ooh. Oh, that hit me. That's not good. That's not good. Your attack speed is really, really fast. Holy shit. Dude, he does... He has very fast attack speed, I feel like. Oh, I forgot that you cannot be knocked up. Oh, I missed that. I'm doing a decent amount of poking. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, no way. Does he have alt up again? Does. Holy that was mm. We traded towers there. Let's go, dude. Let's go. He didn't expect me at his blue. We take those. I have so much gold in hand. Oh, holy shit. I have 3,600 gold. Okay, got it. You're the protagonist. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I'm going to go Chronos Pendant to finish out my stacks, and then I'm going to go a little bit of Lifesteal with Bancroft's Typhons. A little bit, but no, I'm going Bancroft's Typhons. I miss. Oh, wow, not nearly far enough. I thought that would definitely go farther. I thought my ult would definitely go further. Oh, 
Oh my gosh. One hit him. I one hit him, but it didn't kill. Damn it, dude. We got Silver Branch. He doesn't have alt, so I'm kind of comfortable doing this. The only issue is I'm a little bit low HP and he auto attacks very, very fast. So if he does come over here, I kind of just die. But I'm hoping I'm able to back in time, which I am. Let's go, dude. He probably gets red buff though. Mm. Does red buff matter that much when I have bull demon? I don't think so. I think I just go for Phoenix. my uh I have my minion debuff in here could not be better now we get Phoenix I do a lot of damage I also do a lot of damage though <coughs> What I have that you don't is a bit of lifesteal and a turret that does way too much, honestly. Holy, my turret did 1,500 damage to that Titan. What? Yeah. Yeah, no, I do a lot of damage, man. I do a lot. It's double stacking. All right, cool. I'll see you guys in uh, game numero dos. I mean three. I mean Trace. I mean, shut up. What's up, boys? Welcome back. I'm fighting a Diamond Border Chiron. That's interesting. Chris T. Dixon. Wait a second. Wait. A, wait a second. <laughs> I thought he played on controller. Isn't he an MMR cap controller player? I thought. Wait. Hold on. Huh? What the heck? What the heck? And the diamond border Chiron at that. All right. But you are on controller. You playing TBM? 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 That's interesting. Not once did I ever think that I would fight Chris in a recording. Well, unless we like schedule it, obviously. Are you doing my blue? Why is your MMR not going up? Your MMR. Why is your gold not going up? <laughs> Dude, it takes me 18 years to clear this buff, please. He didn't double buff, did he? He's still down a bit of gold. Hmm. Alright. 
Interesting, interesting. I'm gonna use all my abilities on this. Oh, he's following me. Honestly, this has gone pretty perfectly so far. I really cannot complain. I really cannot complain. I want to hit him with that so that I can group the minions up and clear very easily, by the way. Ouch. Alright, perfect. We're not too far ahead, but we are ahead, which is pretty much the only thing that matters. And I do want to get that gold, or not not even the gold, just the XP of the wave, because I'll hit 7 off of it. And I don't think he ever got his other buff, did he? Like, he never got his second buff. I'm pretty sure he can afford his transcendence, which is terrifying because Chiron does... A lot of damage. <clears throat> but I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll be fine. Alright, he did double buff, actually. getting his XP camp. Not letting me have that one. That's fair. That's fair. <clears throat> I want to go Soul Eater next item and just double stack up because it's super insane. I might die here, actually. I guess he does get red buff off of that. That's not bad. But I think I'm going to go Breastplate next item, and I'll have max cooldown after Soul Eater. Obviously, Soul Eater did get nerfed a bit, but... this up finding oh. a new victim this is nothing really up here oh he took my xp camp i am not far away from getting my soul leader i'm only 200 gold out so i'll do my blue buff and then that should be good then i can back I think I will pick this up. The only annoying thing about this is that Soul Eater just got nerfed. So now it takes 100 sacks instead of 75, which is annoying. So Toxic Blade second. I see it sometimes. I don't love it too much, though, because you get no power out of it. 
I feel like not getting power out of something means you probably shouldn't buy it second or first. But I guess, you know, it depends. I guess it does depend. I think I just wait for Breastplate, honestly. Or finish Soul Eater, either one. For now, I'm just chilling. not love him taking the damage for that. That's what I mean. I feel like <clears throat> I feel like he would have won that that fight 100% if he just had damage. Like the toxic blade is good, but it would have been much better if he bought it maybe like an item or two later, you know? Cuz I have I have a lot of stacks I got to get through anyways before anything starts becoming even relevant on my build, you know? He's not going defense. Oof. I don't know, man. I do too much damage to not go defense. Like I'm I'm literally double stacking. And I have a red buff. Alright, let's grab the breastplate. And he got Sunder for a second relic? My guy. The disrespect. I feel like... I feel like Sunder is something you buy if you're really trying to just shit on your enemy. Like, just don't be on it. But you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh my god, I do a lot of damage. Holy crap, I do a lot of damage. Alright, power down. Uh, we ult this wave. Your buff's not up yet. I guess I just go back and I go like beat stick or something. Her death returns me to my thoughts. I will say, I do want that red buff. My guess is that he had to back. Yeah, he did. He could definitely steal this. Nice. Very good on me. Very good on me. Oh, 
Okay, back that time. Oh, the thunder. I want to get rid of the wave. The wave is super important here. I don't want to actually run out of the Phoenix range because if I do, then um, I'm not going to have the back door protections removed anymore. That's game. GG, friend. GG, Chris. I will, uh... I'll see you guys in the next game. What's up, boys? Welcome back. I'm fighting a Chiron with higher MMR. Please don't be Cubo Fred. Please don't be Cubo Fred. That would be sucky. Destroyer. Okay. I am playing Oleron. I feel much better as Oleron in this matchup because I feel like Oleron really does do like crazy damage. I feel like Oleron's early game is pretty good actually. Like a 40% stim and each or and the initial hit does another 75 plus you know some additionals and then this doing 140 at rank 1 and then this also doing 70 damage and healing like I feel like my early game is pretty damn good. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Come on. There you go. I wonder if he's doing my buff. He's not. Good. Nice. Dude, my buff clear is really good, man. I love the buff clear. I actually really like all of my clear. Hello. Yeah, I don't know. My early game is so good, dude. The extra healing. And now I have my level 5, and he doesn't have beads or anything, so this should be my blue buff. I will gladly use an alt for a blue. I feel like using your ultimate to get a lead in a game is something a lot of people look down on. They're like, oh, dude, he just completely wasted an ult. I'll take that. I'll take that. But honestly, getting an early lead is like actually massive in these games. Like massive, dude. I have three buffs. I don't like the skin I picked, by the way. I don't. I don't actually know what this skin is. Can you blow that buff up? Oh no, he's waiting for it the whole time, I think. I'm just getting my two stacked up here. Ah, uh, almost. Almost. Oh, halting the wave. I don't think you win this fight. Yeah, I mean, you really do not win these fights.
You know what I could do? Is I could have actually just invaded his speed buff. But I feel like by not invading his speed buff, I'm giving him a very hard decision between getting that buff and keeping the cooldown of it. Or um, losing a little bit of XP from the wave. So I actually, I think I'm okay with not invading it. I don't know what I want my second item to be yet. Could be a Ring of Hecate, could be a Typhons, could be Defense. I don't know. I'm not letting you have that. I actually really thought Oh, did he Where'd he go? We got that back off that quick? Oh, okay I don't like my position right now So I'm just gonna have to use my two and clear Run away, you can get red buff my position isn't that uh, that juicy at the moment. Actually, wait a second. It might be. If I can poke him down with my autos here. Not missing too much. Okay, you never kill me here, though. I don't know. If he gets ult, he can kill me. Alright, fuck it. I'll back. I'll back. I got my breastplate, by the way, is what I decided on. Just because I feel like I want that mana. The the 10 MP5 and the 300 mana is really, really good for me here. With nature, you're never truly alone. Should I go Typhon's next item, or should I go Polly or something? Mm. Oh, wow. My one actually cleared. I was not expecting that. We want a full-blown Pestilence. I don't think the Pestilence pickup was a bad play. I actually like it quite a bit, but uh, we will see the difference in our damages right now. Pestilence is a very, very tanky item. However, me having Breastplate means I can spam pretty heavy. I do not want him getting that blue. I want to keep control of it if I can. Oh, bro. Darn. I miss everything? Sometimes I just wish I was better at the game, you know what I mean? I have so much gold in hand right now. Oh, you actually got that? Ah, uh, boop. I'm kind of getting dumped on.
I will need a Toxic Blade this game for sure. Such a weird fight. I ult just to get the advantage there. Now he could super ult this. Nice. I held my auto. Oh, okay. You're just gonna push me. How did that miss? I 100% thought he was going to go for this. My blue buff. He could just be going for Bull Demon, to be honest with you, but... I don't know. Dude, I have so much gold right now. I just don't know what to do with it. It seems so stupid, but I just kind of want to go with Typhons. Like, what if I just went Typhons? Oh, like, what about Typhon's Demonic? I only have 250 power, to be fair. Not much. He's not doing Bull Demon. You're gonna get scorched. an interesting game style like i understand it but at the same time like all you did was use your relic and lose the fight and i get red buff again you're never truly alone Dude, I really don't know if I should go Demonic or if I should just go Toxic Blade. Like, Anti-Heal is super important. Hello? Oh, my attack speed wore out. It blew up? Nope. He's up, though. Perfect. Literally perfect. It seems like he can't really handle my damage. Actually, it doesn't seem like that. It, 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 that exactly is what's happening here. He can't handle my damage. Perfect for me. 
another 3,000 gold back here. That's so much. I think I'm going to go Hecate, and I'm going to upgrade to Bancroft's Claw, and I'm going to upgrade to Horrific. Because he doesn't have Sprint. Uh, I don't think his three actually cleanses slows. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think it does. And Bancroft's Claw is going to give me a lot more survivability, as well as the Hecate giving me a lot more damage because of Typhons. I will pick up the blue here. I think Oleron is one of those characters where you really don't have to do Bull Demon at all. But you just push, man. All you need to do is push. Oh, I got tossed. I got absolutely tossed. I did not think his dash was going to catch up to me that fast. I thought I still had a second to life steal. Mm. He doesn't have much attack speed. He might be able... Good, he didn't get Phoenix. So now I have fire minions and he doesn't. Okay. Or he's just going to backdoor me. Cringe. Cringe. But whatever, I guess. Is what it is. Oh my god. Dude, seriously. Are you kidding me right now, man? I'm on the hunt. This has where I know me Survival of the fittest. He's just sitting there and he's going to try to backdoor me the whole game. Holy man, you got to be kidding me. You gotta be such a fucking loser to do that shit. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, man? Oh my god. Okay, that's how we're ending this video. How cringe.